Hello again. It's once again time to venture into the rest world of rest and TV. Uh, I've done a few things off screen. Um, can I zoom in now? Uh, the the mask that was on the ground the ground on the in the cemetery. I fetched that one, and I actually took the other mask that I had in the item box, and I took them both down to the grave uh, and uh, put them where they're supposed to be. So I don't have to do that later on, uh, since it's going to be a total of four masks. Uh, feels like would be a uh, b big inconvenience to run back and forth with all all of them. So better to do it off screen. I thought. Uh, oh fuck. Yeah, okay, that's not a big problem. Um, actually, I had uh, put away the key. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I'm just going to fetch it. It's just close by, so... Ah. Uh, should be easy. And uh, no, there we have it. Yeah, I as I I know I'm whining about the controls and camera angles and such, but uh, I I'm having a problem sometimes. Uh, but I feel like I'm get. Uh, getting better at the controls at least but at the same time it's because of the the static camera angles is the reason because is the reason why the game looks like it does mm -hmm. oh, okay I I think I know what to do. Okay. Ah fuck. What happens now? That one comes out. Mm -hmm. And maybe so. Aha! And guessing this is what I need needed to do. Press the switch. Okay. A mysterious box. Take the jewelry box. Uh, examine. There's a switch when you press it. Yes. Wait, what? Yes. Nothing happens. There's a design of the sun and the moon. And the plate on the plate it says sunshine will awaken me. Sunshine will awaken me. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, it's a death mask without eyes, no so mouth. Okay. One more. Uh, let's see here. I'm up there. Okay. Check the door that's out in the corridor. Here. If I can open it, 
Otherwise I will run and uh, dispose of the mask. Use the armor key. Still don't have any play. Let's uh, drop the mask first. And then check that room. Uh, so I can carry some stuff. Since it's uh, pretty close by to where I have to drop the mask. And it's because of the how the controls are, that's why I sometimes do a little pirouette when I get into a new camera angle. If you remember, the coffin was in another position before, so two of the four chains have are gone now. Uh, which mask do I have? I think it's here, it's supposed to be. Whoop. Okay. And so. A way to find the next mask. Hopefully it's in the room I, uh, I unlocked. The thing is, it's I think it's about the same controls in this as in uh, Resident Evil Zero, and in in that one I had really trouble with these controls, so I actually had to switch over to the original tank controls. But I'm not having that much trouble this time around. Maybe because I got used to it. Ooh, Rebecca! You! Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard! What the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Um, which room? Play. Which, which room am I going to? Uh, ah, okay. Uh, so, where am I? I'm up there. Out, down. Uh, down, out there. It would be easiest to go. Oh, it's uh, out there, down, dit, dit. okay, shouldn't be all too hard to, uh, long to get there. Oh yeah, the door that's, uh, where the handle, the uh, doorknob uh, was about to break, that one have broken now, uh, so now I have to, ah shit. Uh, go around the whole place to get to that to the other side of the door but see it's only when you go from one side the, the side where it warned you about it, it you can go the other way uh, boop wait yeah in here Straight forward and then the door on the left side. Up here. Ah, shit. Now 
Not that door. Next one. Off screen I killed a f also killed a few zombies and uh, uh, serum. Uh, should I drop something? Don't think so. Yeah, I, I've killed a few zombies and uh, torched them. Also, uh, the corridor outside where there were uh, there were a group of three zombies outside the room with the shotgun, uh, and I never killed them. I've killed them now. And uh, yeah, so they and torch them, so they, they won't be a problem anymore. Uh, and uh, Rebecca, who wanted me to get the serum, she's uh, one of the main characters from Resident Evil Zero. If you, You've never played it. You should be close to a boss fight now, I think. Or closer to one, at least. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Uh, okay. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I have to run all the way back there again. Sure, we didn't have to carry his uh, body all the way here, but... Still. But it's not that far, anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I was talking about graphics and the static uh, camera angles, how they make it possible to have such good graphics. No, sure, I'm playing on PS5, good graphics isn't uh, so special anymore, but this is a GameCube game. Uh, they've only upped the resolution and such to fit the uh, um, HD TV and uh, uh, there's a wide angle on uh, wide screen and such. But otherwise it's a GameCube game. Uh, and it was possible to be such good looking game on the GameCube. <laughs> I see you, zombie. Uh, no, I'm not taking that one. How is this? Uh... 
Ah, you bastard! Get away from me. See that? Yeah, he's dead. Uh, no. Uh -huh. Because it's actually only the character zombies and s some other things that are uh, in 3D. So they could use the polygons only for characters and such. The environment is only a picture. Uh, so they could go high detail on the environment and the characters. Exactly the same thing they used for. Ah, oh, fuck you. Uh, for all the other Resident Evil games. Uh, for the PlayStation 1 and such. So it's not a new thing to do it like this. But still, uh, but then after doing it like this in the we have Resident Evil 4, also a GameCube game, and that one looked really good. And they uh, uh, didn't use uh, what's it called? Static camera angles and such and uh, uh, they actually the, the whole environment there is uh, may in uh, uh, 3D is that everything in this room? no? There's something more Ah, uh, too dark to see anything. Can I use this one? Nope. Uh, an unlit candlestick. No. Ooh, shotgun shells. Mm, would be nice to have them, but... Uh, how far away am I from a box? Not that far away. Should I go all the way back and drop some things? Shield. Is that everything in this place? Apparently. Uh, oh. Ah! <laughs> the shadow of me is on the wrong place. <laughs> uh, I thought it was an enemy. Okay. I don't... Oh yeah, back to it. Should I drop something? It's a close place to... So there or there to refill the canteen. Hmm... Uh, let's go. I'm guessing next door that I open with the armor key is the last one, so I could, should be able to drop it then. Nope, it wasn't. Okay, let's go in anyways. Maybe there's a ton of enemies. No. 
Not really. More ammunition. Where am I? Oh, outside or down there. Okay. Oh, a dagger. That's good to find. Oops. It's Forrest from Brava Team. There are deep wounds all over his body. What could have torn him up like this? Like all the zombies, dogs, and other things? Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Okay. Uh, that's a way to describe it. A foliage plant. Okay. Mm. Ah, shit. Ah, shit! Forest! <laughs> Get out away from me! Hey! I picked up a dagger. And I have a flash grenade. Ooh, and I'm al almost dead. It. Uh, and I can't burn him. That's a real problem. Nothing here gave me anything. I know there's ammunition there to fetch. Oh, I can actually pick up the ammunition. Let's do that. Ah. So, nice. <sighs> Get in <laughs> through the door. Okay, uh, so let's continue finding a door f uh, that uses the armor key. Uh, what did I see? So no, it could be good to knock the other side it could be good to get back to an item box and heal myself uh, also Helmet, okay. Was it a helmet up on the third floor? I think so. Uh, a door there, there. Yeah, this is armor key. I'm close by the that door, so I can check that one out. 
and then find my way to the item box. Uh, but I don't think anything special will happen <laughs> on this way, so I'll record a little bit more, but I think most of it will be off screen. Maybe even I'm trying to try to find where I should go. Uh, between episodes and I can uh, start recording when I found the door. No, yeah, it was a helmet. Uh, it would be nice if they recorded it on the map. Oh, uh, at least after look check the door once. It would be nice if they add a little symbol telling what key you need. Not super important, but would be helpful. Not having to run around like an idiot. Oh, shut up. So where am I? I'm here. Oh, I can also fill the kerosene bottle. Or can. Uh, so I can burn people once again. Uh, where am I now? <sighs> Running everywhere. Oh, you know what? First, check the door out here. Yes, yes, but before going in there, let's uh, go and heal myself, and in the next episode, we will open the door. Uh, either I will get a mask in that room. Don't think so. Uh, or I'm, I'm going to find a new key. Oh, this room yeah. is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Yes. Yeah, would you? Cool. Didn't know Thanks. about this. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. You know, over in this box, there's more of it. Uh, like, I have a little bit, uh, yes, oh no, oh yeah, uh, what was I going to do, I can leave some handgun ammo, let's reload the shotgun. And... Oh yeah! Am I far away from that place? Yes, I am. I think I know what I should do with the wooden... Uh, wooden mount. Uh, not an important thing to have. Uh, but I think it's actually the map for the second floor. Uh, but it's so far away. To, uh, 
to get it. There's a room on the second floor and what is it, east wing of the mansion. Uh, there it was a fireplace uh, that you can uh, light with the uh, lighter. Uh, and then when you did it, uh, like a map up on the, uh, above the fireplace lit up. And I think with the wooden mount, you can like copy the map. <sighs> but I didn't have the wooden mount on me, on me when I was doing that. This was an off-screen exploration I did. Uh, and uh, yeah. Anyways, you know what? See you next episode. Bye!